Well, this video is probably going to get a little dark, so I figured some atmosphere was appropriate. Um, I might make such a mess of it that uh, you know, it won't be so dark because it would be funny. Um, but anyway, um, <clears throat> yeah, if you take my philosophy to its end, um, there's, there's a point you reach, where, that I reach, where I've drawn certain conclusions. Um, I mean, I, I know I can fix 90% of the world's problems. I mean, the, 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 the bullshit, you know. I don't think war is necessary. I don't think it's inevitable. I don't think it's unpreventable. I don't think the whole economic system is bullshit. <coughs> Um, I mean, you can have incentive economics, you can have all the capitalism you need, you don't need trillionaires, you don't need any of this bullshit. I mean, we, you know, obviously we, we have created a system where we keep people good and desperate so they're just barely fighting for food in their pot, and uh, because they're so caught up in that struggle, they don't even have time to have this kind of conversation, they don't even have time to contemplate what their fucking life means, because they're too busy trying to dig parasites out of their skin. Um, so anyway, um, ideally, or not even ideally, I think realistically, <clears throat> we can come a lot closer to perfection than we are. And for me personally, <coughs> as, a, as one of the beings caught up in this thing, who didn't choose to be here, uh, somebody else's decision, <laughs> um, somebody else took that risk uh, and decided for me, that, oh yeah, well, we'll just see what happens and hopefully the kid comes out happy and normal and everything will be wonderful. Well, that's fine. He, he won't be a perfectionist and he won't find four million flaws in this wonderful, magical, fun thing called life. <coughs> well, it didn't work out that way for me anyway, personally. Um, I'm not an unhappy person, but yeah, you know, there's, there's, you know, people use the word unacceptable and it doesn't mean anything. Well, to me, it <laughs> does kind of mean something. I find a lot of this shit unacceptable. I mean, if I had my choice, if I was in some black dead space that was just warm and comfortable, no complaints, don't need anything, don't have a penis, don't have anything to feed, um, yeah, I'd say, you know, somebody offered me life, and I'd say, well, what are you going to pay me? I mean, no, yeah, you, know, you can have that. I can live without that bullshit. Um, because to me, when you add up the pain, and then you add up the pleasure, and especially when you with the pleasure in the context of this machine you're existing inside of that's always hungry. I mean, we're never satisfied. We're never, we're always figuring, well, one more chocolate cake, one more, you know, blow job. I mean, it's just, it's, you're always thinking that way. You never really had enough. And, and so that keeps you interested. It keeps you here. Um, and, and, uh, and you push yourself through the pain because we don't have a survival instinct. We have a feel better instinct. <laughs> I mean, animals don't survive on purpose. They survive because they got something, you know, digging a hole in them and say, I'm going to get that out of me. And they, they, they're, they're fighting for comfort. They're not fighting for survival. They don't have any notion of survival. They don't have any notion of perpetuating their species. They don't have any of those, that crap. And yet we use these metaphors that just make the whole thing sound romantic and pretty and lovely. Mother Nature and. You know, and then the 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 the, the fucking Darwinist, the you know, I love Charles Darwin. It's just terrible that people have just taken this evolution concept to some the social evolution crap, this social uh, you know Darwinism, where um, you know this somehow the struggle crap is some sort of a necessary, and somehow is, is proving our society or improving our society because we're creating a bunch of sadistic motherfuckers who'll do anything to get ahead. Well, sorry, no, that doesn't work either. Um, so anyway, you know, years ago, contemplating this stuff, I came to this conclusion, and it's just, it's kind of a, it's a very depressing conclusion. Um, because I'm trying to, I was trying to figure out the equation. I mean, what is the, the cost to benefit equation in judging life on Earth? I mean, what, what do, you know, if we look at it, what do we come up with? What, what do we put on the, the, the one side of the scale and what do we put on the other side of the scale? What are the pluses and what are the minuses? And, and when I looked at it, I said, well, wait a minute, if all we're doing is fulfilling our needs, if all we're doing is satisfying needs, what are we actually accomplishing? So, I mean, I've touched on this in other videos, but now I'm throwing it straight out there. Um, we're not doing anything. We're not accomplishing anything. We're not... 
we're not repairing anything we're not we're not building anything we're all we're doing is feeding need and then we recreate the need we just keep doing it we keep perpetuating the need and and uh, you know and uh, then I thought about it you took it one step further so let's say I drew this conclusion that life wasn't worth living you can't even escape I mean, you, know, you can kill yourself but what good does that do you because you know tomorrow some new person is going to be born it's going to be conscious and it's not going to be you but you know what I mean it's effectively the same thing they're going to have this self-awareness thing and it might as well be you and so you're just trapped in the same shithole you're trapped here and if I'm thinking to myself, well, I wouldn't want to live the life of 90%, I mean, for me personally, to tell you the truth, it's 99.9999% of the human beings on this planet. If I wouldn't want to live their life or be them, um, you know, that's a, it's a, that's a glaring problem. Because guess what? That's what's going to happen. I mean, a, a friggin' airplane could land on me now and I'm still trapped here in a way. I mean, I can die, but I can't really die because consciousness is going to be here tomorrow and it's going to be just as real and just as you know whatever to somebody else the new victim and uh, nobody's thinking you know, can't you know who's, who's even coming close to having this conversation in public anyway where's the way who's, who's saying it nobody nobody's talking about it because it's all this bullshit religion or else the God is nature I mean you either have God is God or nature is God and no one's really an atheist. No one's really thinking about it and saying, wait a minute, why am I presuming that life on Earth has a purpose? Why am I uh, presuming this is something we should be perpetuating just for the sake of perpetuating it? Because let's do the equation, let's do the friggin' fucking math. I mean, what do we get? What do we accomplish in living? What is, you know, what is the benefit to the universe having this blue ball with a bunch of parasites on it and that's what we are we're fucking parasites on a planet you know complex compounds so if you took you know if you took human intelligence out of the equation what do you have you have a you know you have a bunch of animals eating each other it's just you know come on get real and they, you know look at the statistics they most of them die before they're a year old and all this i mean it's just life is brutal out there and we keep covering it up because it's easy. It's it's comforting. It's better. It's you know the, the the psychology is built that way. We are built to have positives reinforced, okay, and to ignore the negatives, to not dwell on them, to just get over them. And so we can have some horrible, awful, just you know, terrible experience. <clears throat> and when it's over, it's over. I mean, certainly we remember it. But remember it as sometimes, oh yeah, it's over. Isn't that great? It's over. And we don't have to relive it. But let's say if the bargain was you had to relive it. Let's, you know, and, and that's the reality. That is the reality. And there's no point in pretending. I mean, I can tell you a story. I mean, I had a grandmother who lived to be 107 years old. Had um, 104 great years. You know, excellent years. And then died horribly for three years. And I'm saying to myself, well, I wonder if you gave her the bargain. If you said to her, well, here, now you're going to come back and live again. And you got to live the same exact life. And you have to do those last three years again. I'm wondering whether she'd say, whew, man, those were some bad three years. Uh, you know, in spite of how good the 105 were, yeah, maybe I wouldn't take the bargain. You know, the 104. Uh, you know, and that's the irony here is that... Uh, you know, we don't get to make this choice. We don't decide to be here. We don't get to say, well, yeah, I'll take life, but, you know, cut off the fat and cut off the gristle and cut off the other bullshit that I don't want. Uh, you know, you got to take it for everything that it is. And if we're going to sit there and endorse life, then we have to endorse the fact that, you know, whatever, 50% uh, of the world's population is, you know, well, I think it's 70% or 65% or whatever the number is, is living either under a dirt roof or on a dirt floor. Um, you know, most human consciousness is it's not making videos with candles in a nice, comfortable house uh, who's had the benefit of, uh, you know, reading fancy books. And that's the reality. And uh, so it needs to be addressed. And we can't just keep pretending it's wonderful. That's